The immediate past Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Mohamed Aduke, sits patiently at an Abuja High Court in Guagalada as he awaits his arraignment on fraud charges instituted against him and six others by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. After waiting for a few minutes, the case is called and the prosecutor immediately asks for an adjournment on the ground that he is yet to serve the defendants with the charges. The lawyer to the former Attorney General insists on in proceeding with the arraignment to prove the innocence of his client as he informs the court of his preparedness to waive his rights to service. Other counsels adopt the same line of argument, but the judge explains that service of charges is a fundamental right of every defendant. He therefore adjourns the arraignment to Thursday, the 23rd of January. The lawyers to the former AGF, Nigeria Archive Exploration Limited, and the prosecutor speak on the arraignment. We waived our right of service. He's been in their custody, and then they complained that they had not served him. I mean, if he had been outside, they could have said oh, he was dodging service, but he's in their custody. The individual defendants were not served with uh, the charge. Most of them were charged, uh, served today, and uh, it's a fundamental requirement that each defendant must be served. We are equally shocked that the parties are in court. We have not yet, I can confirm that we did not serve the first, second, third, and fourth defendants. <laughs> The man at the center of it all describes the whole process as mere persecution as he expresses readiness to defend himself. I was not served even though I've been illegally in their custody for the last five weeks. So how ready are you for the arraignment? I came back to this country voluntarily to defend myself. As a former attorney general, I'm very ready to defend myself. And I'm happy that this is an opportunity for Nigeria to know the persecution and the illegalities that are going on in this country. And that we must not allow situation where political coloration dictate I mean the liberty of a human being. The former justice minister and six others are to be arraigned on a 42-count charge, bartering on graft and money laundering.